The Japanese Yakuza gang will not be allowed to hand out Halloween treats to the kids this year. A hypnotist is facing assault charges for allegedly giving his clients unwanted prostate exams. And an elderly woman is the suspected getaway driver for a gang. These are the weird stories for Monday on Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian. I'm Jonesy, the host of Weird AF News. Thank you for joining me. I'm recording this show inside my closet. (laughs) Let's go. It's Florida Friday, only on Weird AF News. Well, Halloween's going to be a little bit different for the kids this year in Japan because the crime syndicate known as the Yakuza is not allowed to give out Halloween treats to the kids this year. They've been banned. Oh, how sad. They just want to contribute to the happiness of the local children. So an assembly in Western Japan has changed an ordinance that will stop the country's largest crime syndicate, known as the Yakuza, from handing out Halloween treats to the children at its headquarters later this month. The assembly unanimously approved a revision of the anti-gangster ordinance that was submitted by the police department. I love how they have these rules for the gangsters. Why don't you just arrest the gangsters (laughs) instead of allowing them to proliferate, but then create some restrictions on their behavior. It's like, ah, listen, listen, gangsters, we know you're there. We know your headquarters is there. And, you know, you've been giving out treats to the kids lately, you know, uh, for Halloween the past few years. And it's been nice, but we're going to have to put a stop to that. And by the way, we don't want to see that Yakuza bunny that you keep sending out for Easter every year. You're going to have to put a stop to that as well. No more eggs for the kids given out by the Yakuza bunny. All right. And also, while we're on the topic, okay, your Yakuza dumpling food truck that you have in the neighborhood that's been (laughs) selling some pretty delicious, affordable dumplings, you're going to have to put a stop to that as well. We're going to have to treat you like a real crime syndicate. We're sorry, okay? Apparently, the Yamaguchi Gumi, which is a, a name of the Yakuza in that area, has been treating children at its headquarters in Kobe City on October 31st for many, many years with gangsters in Halloween costumes handing out treats to young visitors. <laughs> Who's letting their child go to the gangster headquarters uh, You know, along your trick-or-treat route? That's what I want to know. If I have my children and we're on our trick-or-treat night and we walk by the headquarters of the Yakuza, I'm going to keep walking, okay? I don't care what kind of expensive Halloween treats the Yakuza are offering from their headquarters. I'm not letting my children step on the grounds of the Yakuza property. It says here the revised ordinance prohibits crime syndicates from letting children under 18 enter their offices without good reason, such as cases when the children are relatives of the gangsters and they're visiting them. <laughs> I love how they treat this gangster like it's just a regular company in the neighborhood, <laughs> like a like it's a Starbucks. It says here uh, the syndicates are also banned from giving cash and goods to children as well making phone calls or sending emails to children with the aim of putting youngsters under their control. Yeah, of course this benefits a a crime syndicate. They want to have the kids like them, you know, cooperate with them and maybe even join them at some point, right? Get some tattoos. It says here, if any Yakuza group violates this new ordinance, the Public Safety Commission will issue an order to correct the violation. They're going to write the Yakuza a ticket. (laughs) What are you? What is going on over there? It's like instead of, I don't know, getting rid of the gangsterism, they're like writing them tickets for not recycling. (laughs) That's that's ridiculous. Now, I mean, I'm not that familiar with how the Yakuza operates, how Japan sees the Yakuza overall. I don't know much about that. If any of you listening have any inside information or are just more familiar with this gang and how the community interacts with the gang. I'd be fascinated to learn more. Call the show 646-450-2012. I don't think you can make that phone call from Japan. In which case, you can email me funnyjones at gmail.com. A professional hypnotist has been charged with sexual assault after clients claim he gave them unwanted prostate exams. This is the actual title of the story, and I didn't believe it until I saw that it came out of New Jersey. (laughs) 
This is such a Jersey story. A Jersey man whose website advertises him as a master hypnotist was charged with sex assault. His name is Bob. Bob Bruckner was charged with assault and practicing medicine without a license after clients say that he subjected them to some prostate exams. This is frightening. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepier. Oh, yes. And you're going to wake up with your pants unbuttoned. <laughs> I mean, this is awful. You go to this guy and you think he's going to help you quit smoking and you wake up and your butt hurts. You're wondering why. Mm, can't trust a hypnotist. Never see a hypnotist all by yourself either. It has to be in a group setting. You can't trust these creeps. And here's the issue here. This guy owns a company called Major Mindset Hypnotist Counseling. He advertises hypnosis counseling for adults, teens, and children. Oh, this is creepy. If you ever sent your child to a hypnotist counselor, you ought to be punched in the face, seriously. Like, you should not be a parent. Now, the assistant prosecutor said in a statement that uh, it is unclear if this guy, Bob, assaulted anyone while they were hypnotized. I mean, that's the problem. Uh, who's there to witness it? You're under hypnosis, so you don't remember what the hell happened. I mean, unless this guy's shooting video of what he's doing, there's not going to be any evidence of this. It says here this guy, Bob, is a master hypnotist who practices Ericksonian conversational hypnosis and moderate to deep trance hypnosis for medical, sports, ap academic, and many other issues and concerns. Yeah, such as if you're concerned about how your prostate is doing. <laughs> He'll take care of that as well. Free of charge. His website reads, We are not psychologists or psychiatrists. We are hypnotists, and we help you get from where you are right now to where you wish to be. Which is what? What? With a, with a limp as you leave their office? Is that where they want to be? <laughs> it says, We help you to change your thinking and your behavior. Yeah, your thinking is, what the hell just happened back there, okay? <laughs> Why is my belt off? <laughs> and in case you're curious what it costs to get molested by a hypnotist, it's uh, about $400 per session. <laughs> Ridiculous! His website says, I can make all your problems go away. Oh, man, you should know at that point that this guy's full of shit. I mean, really. It also says, there's never any strong talk. I guide you to the answer using special hypnotic techniques. Yeah, with a side of butt play while you're at it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Guys, guys, just go to somebody that has a license that is a real doctor. Please, I, I implore you. Do not submit yourself to this squirrely hypnoti hypnotizing and all this alternative nutso meditation, you know, the next thing you know, you got a shaman putting a crystal in a place that you don't want it, okay? Just go to a doctor when you got a real issue. When did science become so untrustworthy? You know, we got people drinking bleach because they think that's going to get rid of COVID. Just listen to the doctors and the scientists, please. Please, I beg you. <laughs> You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. Too difficult. No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. An elderly woman is suspected of being the getaway driver for a gang. Who is this feisty woman? She's 71 years old. She owns a bed and breakfast. And the Irish detectives suspect her of driving a gang of young criminals across the country to carry out an aggravated burglary. The elderly woman was arrested this week along with her young associates. This is part of an investigation into a daytime B&E. That means uh, breaking and entering, guys, in case you didn't know. It was at a home in Mullingar. Uh, the burglary happened on a Saturday. A number of people broke into a home. They searched through property and stole a number of personal items before taking the keys to the homeowner's car and driving away. Since then, the detectives have carried out some searches and have identified a number of suspects. They learned that one of those currently in Garda custody is a 71-year-old woman who owns a bed and breakfast in a Midlands town. 
Well, you know, it's tough owning a bed and breakfast during a pandemic. You know, the, the money's probably not rolling in for this poor woman, so she's got to do some side gigs. <laughs> she's got to pick up some odd jobs here and there. What do you expect? Okay, why not drive these kids to a, a burglary? And by the way, I assume they're teenagers without their driving license. Is that what's going on? Is she related to any of them? We need more information here. It doesn't even say her name. I'm curious. It says that the detectives suspect this woman was involved in driving the associates to and from the scene. And they're also investigating whether she played a similar role in some previous crimes that were carried out by the same men who are aged 28 and 45. They are from the same Midlands town as their alleged accomplice that owns the bed and breakfast. Here's a quote from one of the Irish detectives. It is a strange dynamic in that you have essentially three different unrelated generations suspected of involvement in this crime. They're all linked to the business that the woman runs, and it is being looked at as if she was essentially a getaway driver for this and many other burglaries, perhaps. Uh, that was my impression of an Irish detective. I don't know if it was accurate. I feel like it was close. Um, perhaps if I was drunk, it'd be much more accurate. I assume Irish detectives are drunk all day. Is that true? Can anyone corroborate this in this information? <laughs> I know I'm wrong. The Irish, the poor Irish get a bad rap for being wasted all the time. But, you know, I can say that because I'm part Irish. By the way, this woman, 71 years old, she's really got it going on. I mean, I don't have the energy to be a getaway driver and I'm, you know, half her age. <laughs> so, like, what the... <laughs> You know, I just hope I have this kind of, I don't know, motivation when I'm in my 70s. You know, I, I just I just think it's just going to be tough for me to even get out of my chair when I'm in my 70s. Never mind, you know, have the kind of lofty goals that this woman has. You know, being a getaway driver, that's a tough racket right there. You know, you got to be on point. You got to have driving skills, good vision. You got to know the layouts, the back alleys, the secret paths. You know, you got to be able to go off road sometimes. I mean, it, there's a lot of skills involved in being get being a getaway driver. Sometimes you got to be able to shoot a gun too and drive at the same time. I mean, imagine this woman is something else, man. What an inspiration! You know, I look on to my 70s and I say to myself, "Hey, will I even have enough energy to play bingo at 6 p.m. every day right before bed?" And here, this woman is being a getaway driver. It's just, you know, I hope to have this kind of life when I'm in my 70s. I mean, if this isn't the coolest grandmother that owns a bed and breakfast, I don't know who is. I mean, the other thing about being elderly and a criminal is you can get off sometimes just by saying, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, 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 I didn't take my meds this morning. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> you have kind of like a get out of jail free card in a way. You know, when the police officers are cross examining you, you just pee your pants and they let you go. <laughs> Listen to Weird AF News. I don't want to hear about that mainstream news. That's right, guys, because mainstream news is depressing. Hello, have you seen what's going on in the world? Killer bees. No, what are they called? Murder hornets. Eey, fires. The glaciers are melting. The pandemic is here. Oh, my God. It's just depressing. I don't know why I did that accent. It's like the Monty Python accent. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Did anybody pick up on that Monty Python scene that I slipped into the, one of the episodes last week? I hope you did. No one wrote me about that, though, so I don't even know if you noticed. Uh, but that's one from one of my favorite movies, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And I can't recommend it enough. You should watch that movie. It's extremely weird and extremely funny. Do you have a weird and funny movie that you can recommend me? Well, email me. Funnyjones at gmail.com. I love to hear from people. You can even send it to me on Instagram as well if you want to follow me. I'm at Funny Jones. Funny Jones. It's like it's like funny bones, but with a J. Huh? Get it? Get the joke? Do you guys get it? I thought I was being clever there. Um not so clever. I actually couldn't I couldn't get at Jonesy. It was already taken, so that's what we settled with. Um, <laughs> by the way, I appreciate all of you. I know I have some new listeners out there so I just want to welcome everyone to Weird AF News uh, this is the outro which I always complete my episode with and I just you know make some announcements and do some uh, due diligence I uh, read reviews read emails and sometimes I publish phone calls from fans as well so uh, yeah if you listen to the end of each episode you might you know you get some extra information uh, for instance you'll also learn that uh, 
I have a website now. It's weirdafnews.com. And you can go there and get transcripts of the shows, you know, in case uh, you want to read uh, or find links to some of the articles that I've covered in the shows. Uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff on there. You, there's also uh, on my website, there's ways in which you can support the show. For instance, you can join the Patreon from the website. What is Patreon, Jonesy? Well, it's a monthly subscription where you give Jonesy a couple bucks and then uh, you get access to extra weird AF news content on the Patreon website. It's patreon.com slash weird AF news. There's a link to it in the description of this podcast and uh, you can get to you can get to it also from my own website, weirdafnews.com. So check that out. If you're, a, if you're a big fan and you listen five days a week, maybe you want to buy me a beer um, as, a, as a token of good gratitude. Good gratitude. <laughs> yeah, good gratitude. As opposed to bad gratitude. Uh, also, there's a phone number for the show. I think I left it in one of the stories, but in case, uh, in case you didn't catch it, 646-450-2012. Uh, you can call if you have an opinion on any of these stories or you just want to say hello. If you want to give me a shout-out, that's pretty cool. Uh, please leave a review of the show if you're on iTunes or Amazon. That would be helpful. And tell a friend. You know, maybe you maybe you got a, a pal that loves podcasts but's never but has never heard of mine because it's very possible they might have never heard of mine. Um, so suggest Weird AF News. We are a uh, – we are, as in me uh, – I am a nice alternative to mainstream news, as I said earlier in the uh, in the outro. So yeah, did I forget any, anything? Uh, oh, I'm on Facebook at Comedian Jonesy and Twitter at Funny Jones as well. I guess that's about it. I'll see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I hope you I hope you have a nice night. Hey Jonesy, just want to thank you for that there uh, public service announcement you gave us the other day there with the, uh, the talking about everyone should go get their prostate examined. I, I do like them happy ending prostate examinations, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Now that barbershop shootout could have been avoided. Because it's not like them boys didn't get their hair cut by their mama for the first 15 years of their life. And I'm not saying she put a bowl on her head and just trimmed around the edges. Everyone knows down in Florida that either your aunt, your sister, or your cousin, some female in your family has got a degree in getting her hair cut. Or cutting hair, rather.